This is Sharon. Sharon is a 39-year-old mother of three young children, and she lives in a suburb in Hamilton, Ontario. One day, Sharon felt a strong pain in her side. At first, she thought nothing of it, but the pain gradually got worse over time. After several weeks of back and forth at the hospital, Sharon was diagnosed with terminal cancer and was given only one year to live. This was a crushing blow for Sharon and her family. As reality sunk in, Sharon exhibited symptoms of anxiety and depression from the thought of leaving her family behind. As time went on, Sharon began to think about her family and how her children could remember her. That same day, Sharon took to her computer to find a remedy to her problem and she came across an article online on Dignity Therapy, a method used to help reduce anxiety and depression for patients in palliative care. We all have a limited amount of time on Earth, and as our bodies wear, it puts a great amount of mental stress on individuals. As part of Dignity Therapy, a patient sits down with a therapist and reflects on their life and their accomplishments. They also share their feelings through written letters to family members such as young children who are not yet able to comprehend. Unfortunately, Sharon was one of the individuals who was not able to receive Dignity Therapy in Ontario, as she was not fluent in English and none of the therapists could speak her mother tongue, Swahili. Communication barriers and cultural differences make it difficult for therapists to effectively help patients undergoing Dignity Therapy. Written letters may also get lost and may not feel as fulfilling as vocalizing an individual's feelings. The current issues with Dignity Therapy raise the following question. For patients in palliative care, what is the effect of Dignity Therapy conducted by AI on anxiety, depression, and quality of life compared to the traditional Dignity Therapy for a month in a proof of concept study? This is Amazon Echo. Amazon Echo is a Bluetooth speaker that uses a cloud-based voice service called Alexa to perform a variety of user commands. Alexa has taken great strides in the medical field. For example, My Diabetes Coach, a diabetes management platform that uses Alexa to help patients with type 2 diabetes, captures dialogue to provide a personal coaching experience. This type of coaching increases patient confidence when self-administering injections. Using a similar approach, programming Alexa to administer Dignity Therapy sessions would help resolve a lot of the current issues with Dignity Therapy, including language barriers, access, and cost. A user would be able to select their preferred language and have the questions read out to them so that they may reflect on their life and accomplishments. Written letters would be substituted with voice recording to allow patients to vocalize their feelings. Delivering Dignity Therapy through Alexa will increase the accessibility for patients around the world. Multiple languages combined with a reduced cost will help Dignity Therapy reach areas it has been unable to before. By incorporating a uniform set of questions, it will also ensure that all patients receive the same quality of care. Alexa will be able to conduct a Dignity Therapy session in the absence of a therapist. The AI will guide a patient through a standard set of questions. After asking a question, the speaker will record the patient's response and use its speech-to-text function to amalgamate a transcript of answers. Since this is a novel technology aimed at palliative care, it is planned to conduct an early phase study to evaluate its implications. The proof of concept will involve a head-to-head -head comparison of transcripts created by a therapist and by the software using Alexa. After the transcripts are created, they will be evaluated by professionals to assess the quality of the answers from each method. And if Alexa produces transcripts that are equivalent or of higher quality, the trial shall be considered a success. In conclusion, a successful proof of concept study has the potential to extend the reach of Dignity Therapy to aid patients all over the world. It is hoped that incorporating this concept can help increase the quality of life for patients in palliative care like Sharon.